Tracking is one of the commands that has changed names in OpenRoads Designer. If I go to the OpenRoads Modeling ribbon, go to the Home tab, and look under Model Analysis and Reporting, you'll see a Civil Analysis category. What I'm looking for is the Analyze Point. Now if you'll notice, that same icon is in the top half, meaning it was the last used command from this category, so I can just select it from here. The prompt is to select the element to analyze point, so I select the alignment, and then when I move my cursor, you'll notice that it's tracking the station, offset, and direction from the horizontal, and since I have an active vertical alignment, it's tracking the elevation and slope from it. If I reset, you'll see that it is select element. It doesn't say select alignment, so I can select other things to analyze, such as the terrain. So if I pick the terrain, it's tracking the elevation, slope, and aspect of the terrain. If I data point in the file, you'll notice that it writes the graphics for the directional arrow and the slope. If I want to track the station and offset while I'm also tracking the elevation of the surface, I can do that with a combination of Analyze Point and Civil AccuDraw. Here I'll turn on Civil AccuDraw. I'll select the terrain to analyze, and you'll notice that it has a station and offset field as well as the elevation slope and aspect. Since OpenRoads Designer does not have an active horizontal alignment, I have to tell it which alignment that I want to track the station and offset from. If I hit the letter O on my keyboard, then it will prompt me to select a reference element, in which case I'll select the alignment, and then the station and offset prompt tracks the alignment, while the additional prompt following my cursor tells me the elevation, slope, and aspect from the terrain. So using that combination, I can get both.